Hi guys, welcome to part 7 of building an anime environment in Blender. This is our final episode of the series. Uh, we're going to be going over compositing. We've already gone over geometry and blocking out, shading, and so forth. So let's jump right into compositing. So you're going to, we've already rendered everything out. I scaled down the image so I can see it. I duplicate our render layer because I had rendered out a bushes layer. So this can be a complex thing for beginners to figure out how to do with freestyle lines because bushes oftentimes have alphas. So to do this, you're going to need two Z combines. The first Z combine is going to go into the second one, and the Z is also going to go into the Z of the second one. Then your bush layer, the image, and the depth go into the bottom. Now your first render layer with freestyle line is going to go into the first one, but you're going to mix the freestyle and the image. So the freestyle goes on the top and the image goes on the bottom. And voila, you have your alpha bushes, your environment with your buildings and your freestyle lines all rendered correctly so that your freestyle lines aren't overlapping your bushes or covered up by your bushes because you, the alpha or the transparent part of your bush can be a huge problem when it comes into freestyle lines. So always render those alpha kind of things in a different scene and use them into render layers for this exact reason. So now we're gonna go into color correction. So there is a lot of different nodes that you can use, hue correction, color balance, RGB curves. You, you got a lot of options here. So. When it comes down to this, this is going to be your final render. Take the time, get the colors right. You're going to really make sure your colors are right for this. So right at the moment, I'm really just putting on all the nodes that we're going to have. So I add a mix node and I set it to add. This is going to be where we're going to add some mist. So I add a color ramp and this is going to go into the mix on the bottom. And we're going to shove the mist node from the render layers into the color ramp and then into the mix RGB. So you can see it's like super white and blown out. When you use the mist layer, take the white and please select a color from your environment so that you get the colors right. Now I add a sunbeams and I add another mix. And then I add the sunbeam into that mix and... The previous mix goes into the sunbeam. You guys can just follow along because I can't verbally explain this the best, um, especially keeping up with it. So you guys can pause the video, copy the nodes. Um, but the sunbeam is, I love this node because then you can get this artificial sunlight that comes in and you can put the direction that you want it to come from. Um, so like my scene, the sun and the shadows come from the right. So I have the sunbeams come from the right. I also correct the color of the bushes. So I add an RGB curves and that's it for the bushes. If I did need more color correction, I could always put in like hue correct and the master colors and you know, so on and so forth. But here we have like color balance. This does not have to be changed much, very small movements. So instead of just right clicking and dragging these or left clicking and dragging these, you can do shift left, left click. If you hold shift, it'll very slowly move the colors and the values. This allows you to get a much more accurate and simple, you know, slower movement. I always use it. And then here in the color correction, this one is pretty big. You get a lot of control. You can control the highlights, the midtones, the shadows, and the master. So spend some time on this. Um, what you're going to want to do is play around with each one of these on extremes to figure out, okay, which one, are, which one does this affect? You have saturation, concept, contrast, gamma, gain, and lift, and it's affecting different parts of your scene. But this is an extremely powerful node for color correction, and I highly recommend you guys use it. So when we're compositing, though, you're, you're trying to get your final perfect look. So if your viewport and your render doesn't look phenomenal, your compos compositing step can be a huge, huge part for you because you can correct the colors, you can add effects, you can 
you can even change the thickness of your freestyle lines in the compositor if you want. You just add a bright contrast and then increase the contrast and you can thicken up those lines. But you have a lot of control in the compositor and for anime style, you're gonna use it fairly a fairly good amount. I think at any style you use the compositor quite a bit to get that that final touch, that final effect that you want in your scene because you're not gonna be able to make everything perfect in the viewport. Some colors are gonna be off. That's what the hue correct is for. You can correct some of these hues. Your blues might be too saturated, not saturated enough. Well, the hue correct, you can fix that. RGB curves is really good for changing overall scene color. So I use it just to make the scene a little bit darker. Here I'm fixing the sunbeams because I didn't make the length of them at all. And this can get pretty clunky where for one, it gets unorganized pretty quick. And two, it takes a while for it to actually composite the whole scene. Um, so it can drag down your scene quite a bit, especially in your renders, but it's 100% worth it. <clears throat> so you want to just take your time, make sure your colors are right. That's the biggest part. Make sure your colors are good, guys. If you don't know anything about like actual colors, cinematography, and what colors mean and stuff like that, or what colors complement each other, you should probably learn at least the basics of that because it does play a part. You don't want like bright, like this like bright green here, you know, with like a more like unsaturated color of the entire environment. It's just, that's why you have these things. If you have that problem in the compositor, you can fix it with ease, especially if you have render layers. That's why like my bushes, super easy to make the green a little bit higher and the color a little bit darker and it's done like it, this is a super simple process but a super powerful process so you can see here this is what the end product looks like so i hope you guys enjoyed the series and you learned a lot out of this if you guys have any questions or want to see some other videos just leave a comment in the description and i'll be sure to respond see you guys next time